Hey, what's up, Dean's here performance. We're at the shop Saturday. It's been a while, but we've been plugging away on Jesse's car, which I'm gonna make another update to that. But today, grabbing the tools to run back out there. We are DJ's Cutlass. This was the Cutlass that we did the 6L, 4L80, um, air conditioning, so he's back and what we're doing is the big boy holly screen so you know it might be easier to take the entire dash out but he got this dash pad cover type of thing and Okay, maybe one more person could walk over, but the dash pad, I, I, it's glued on. So to get to a couple of things, you gotta peel this off. I don't, I didn't want to do that. So I took the gauges out. He doesn't have the factory bezel or I don't know if he has it, but it's not in the car. Um, so I took the gauges out and it's okay anyways, but whatever. Took the gauges out and then I just started trimming away at the dash. And to get that big screen in there, I had to cut the top of the dash away. So basically this cut line right here, I had to cut that away to set the screen up in there so that it sits. I'll show you real quick. Is I, I don't wanna cover part of the screen even though it has a black border that you can technically hide. Um, there's not a whole lot of room to go up. So that's kind of what it'll do. It'll sit in there like that. Um, see, I, I don't like it up. I mean, it's not horrible. It's right at the black line. So I may end up setting it up and then it kind of evens the bottom out with the bottom of the dash. So what I am gonna work on next is an aluminum panel to go behind this and this is going to be the hard part even though it seems easy it's going to be the hard part to shape the panel to this edge with the rounded sides and everything so i have some poster board in there some way somehow i'll finagle a piece in there um i mean the other thing i could do is kind of cut it square no, no, can't really do that, but yeah. So next I'm gonna cut the aluminum panel, figure out exactly how I'm gonna mount it, and uh, go from there. I was originally thinking about using like the, the gauge holes here and over here, but this side doesn't have a gauge hole, only down there. And then it's got this knob nub that gets a screw from the back, I don't know what that's for and then there's these little nubs here that would all have to be like kind of ground away and everything um so i think and you can see it's all blue so i'm going to take and paint all this black so that whatever's sticking out in front of the aluminum panel you can't really see it um but i think what i'm going to do is basically take the panel and put tabs going to the back and then drill through and kind of nut and bolt the panel in place on both sides because I can get my hand in here so I should be able to reach it from underneath the fuse box is in the way but that's pretty much just zip tied there and then I, I know I can reach from behind the heater box I can reach up so I might be able to do it um, well, I'll have to see if the AC wasn't there it'd be a million times easier but Oh. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, so been working at it for a few hours and low glimpse, but it's ready. So I 
put it on this one. I haven't peeled the stuff off. I'll let him do that. But this setup here, and then I think. No, it's not going to be that one. It's going to be configuration. So the brightness. There we go. Now it's not as bright, but it's got oil pressure. Can't see it. Oil pressure, voltmeter, speedometer, which being that this is the Terminator X Max, it should be able to display the um, speed through the Terminator X Max, but I, I couldn't quite catch that setting. Tack, coolant, fuel pressure, um, and I'm going to change this to be 18, so 8 to 18, and then I'm going to average it so it doesn't bounce because I know he'll, he'll call me and be like, yo, why is it bouncing all over, but yeah. It's done. I basically, I made a panel to fit in there. I'll shut it off, hold on. So I made a panel to fit in there. It looks grimy, but from if you stick your face on it, you know. But I touched it, of course, because I'm in a rush trying to get out of here. So I'm going to take a little paint, touch it up. Um, basically, I notched out the dashboard on both sides, cut that groove in the top so that the top of the dashboard is flush with the top of this, where it actually has the screen section. It's pretty much flush with this sits off the steering column just enough and oh fuel level i gotta do fuel level dang it so it's got to come back out all right now i got the music going i forgot i gotta finish off my video that's dj what's up what's up fuel level's now on it I'm getting ready to ride out so he said it not me but appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. Leave a comment.